Hi, I'm Brett Larkin. This is a 45 minute class, all levels for your shoulders. Make sure to give this video a quick like and subscribe to my channel before we get started. Optional props are two blocks, so if you have blocks at home, have them nearby. If not, don't worry, you can still do this class without a problem. So we're gonna start today on the block in child's pose. So you're gonna have the block, the long way between your heels. And before you come down into it, I'm just gonna show you really quick so you'll be able to see. I'm gonna ask you to cross at your wrists. And what that means is you're gonna take one wrist over the other and put the palms together when you're in your child's pose. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some rounding up and opening up and fun stuff, right? But I just wanted to show you that. Um, you kind of want to think of your arms like dragging along the mat. So you're making, you know that shape we make when we do down cat, right? Um, it's sort of the same concept. But that's where we're going next. For now, just have the block between the two heels. You can have the knees as wide as the mat or a little wider. And just let yourself fold forward. Only feel your forehead lever into the floor. If you want to put the forehead on that second block for these first few breaths, you're welcome to. I'd like you to bend the elbows and take the index fingers to touch so the arms are in a diamond shape. This is going to allow your shoulders to really relax down the back. So instead of reaching anywhere, we're making this diamond shape with the arms, middle fingers touch. And just think of softening that space between the shoulders and the ears. And just close your eyes, feel your head way down into the floor. And just begin to notice the quality of your breath. Maybe just seeing how quickly you can fully drop into the moment. And in this child's pose, just getting curious about the breath here. So every inhale, feel your low back expand. And feel the rib cage get wider. And every exhale, surrender a little bit more towards the floor. And feel the navel draw up and in. Slowing down the breath now. So inhaling for a count of three, filling up all the way. Opening the mouth to exhale three. Just letting the day thus far go. Inhale three, feel the anatomy of it. Feel the back brought in, rib cage gets wider. The whole body broadens as you exhale. Just get heavier. Let the knees sink into the floor more. Seat sink into the block more. Let go. And again, three counts in. Really slowing down the breath like molasses. Three counts out. Just cultivating surrender. Just two more on your own. audibly hearing the breath breathing in and out through the nose last one inhale make the back body really broad really wide fill up the whole space of your torso with your breath maybe the knees widen along the mat breathe in that much and then exhale completely One more like that. Inhale so big, the knees almost splay apart. Exhale, surrender. From here, keeping your shoulders relaxed down your back, I'm just going to invite you to lengthen your arms so the elbows are no longer bent. See if you can find the fingertips reaching, but your shoulder blades plug down on your back. So if you want to, you can hike your shoulders up by your ears, see what that feels like, and then do the opposite. Glide the shoulders down the back like we had in the first position, but keep the energy of the fingers maybe reaching away, taking the fingers up so the wrists are off the floor. Good. And from here, we'll do what I showed at the beginning. I just want you to cross your right wrist over your left wrist and fuse the palms together. 
See if you can draw your shoulder blades down and back away from the wrist crossing. Take a huge deep in-breath here. And on your exhale, you're going to look at your navel. So chin into chest. You can always look at me for this first one, but I want you to round up, drag your fingertips along the floor like you're drawing a line on your mat towards your center line. And then as you breathe in, keep the palms pressing together. Just inhale, open across the chest. Use the palms pressing together to glide your shoulder blades down and back. So there's a lot of energy between the hands. And then exhale, let the hands come apart. Good. Take the hands to the thighs, breathe in, and breathe out. Just return to your child's pose. We're going to do this a few more times. So just breathe in first, rest, and breathe out. And breathe in, cross left wrist over right this time, palms touch. Good. As you exhale, the exhale from the navel, you're rounding from your low back. So tailbone rounds, low back rounds, look down into yourself. And then your in-breath, you're going to reach up, press the palms into one another a lot. The arms are working here. See if you can get the biceps behind the ears. And then exhale, press the air away like the air was thick like you're moving through molasses. Good, and we take an in-breath here, hands on the thighs, and an exhale dives us forward. Reset, full breath in, full breath out, full breath in, right wrist over left. As you breathe out, lengthen the tailbone towards your block. Begin rounding chin into chest. Round, 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 round. Use your core to bring you up. You got it. Inhale. Open. Biceps back. Palms pressed together. Exhale. Press the air away. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Dive forward. Good. Left wrist over right. Huge breath in. Exhale. It's like someone punched you in the stomach. So you're coming up. You're rounding. This is an abdominal exercise in part. That's it. You got it. You got it. Inhale. Reach up. Press the palms into one another. Exhale. Press away. You have a nice inhale here to be long. And then an exhale to begin again. Good. Wrist over wrist. Two more on your own. So right over left. Round in. Tailbone down. Stomach hollows. You're rounding. You're feeling through the whole spine. Let it be the in-breath that initiates you opening up. Take the biceps behind the ears. So it's like we're kind of doing cat-cow in a different way. Exhale. Press the airway. Spread the fingertips apart. Take a moment to be long. Inhale. Exhale, dive. Last one. See if you can do it with your eyes closed. So we inhale, left wrist over right, press the palms together. Your exhale, tailbone lengthens, chin into chest, round. Look at your navel. Breathe in, open up on your own timing. And exhale, press the air away. And breathe in, get taller. Exhale, dive forward. Okay. Just find your child's pose. Rest here. Huge in breath. Exhale, relax completely. And one more huge breath in. And this time as you exhale, press yourself up to all fours. You're just going to find the block and set it aside. So keep it near the mat. We'll use it later. Come to all fours, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Same movement, inhale, up cat. Same thing we just did. So you can curl your toes under, use that to press your heart forward, take the collarbones back, breathe in. Perfect, exhale, breathe out, round. Tailbone lengthens to the space between the knees, chin into chest. Two more, find your super long, slow, deep in breath. Maybe curl the toes under for today. Exhale, press through the knuckles as you round. Last one, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. 
Exhale, pressing back to downward facing dog. So keep the knees super bent. There is no rush. Spread the fingers apart from one another. You can lay your torso on your thigh bones. And then just begin pedaling the legs, extending one leg and then the other. Once you find that, bend the knees once again, heels high, like you're coming into a little squat. And then send your sits bones higher to the ceiling. Press down through the knuckles. And then re-extend the legs. Find your breath. Three counts in. Three counts out. Again, breathing in. Exhale completely. We'll take a stroll to the top of the mat. So take all the time you need to just walk to the top of the mat. There is no rush. As you breathe in, find a little flat back. So press the hands into the shins, get long, glide the shoulders down and back. And as you exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Two more like that. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, mount. Breathing in, finding that flat back, tailbone and crown of head, you're in a part from one another. And exhale, bend. Keep the knees super deeply bent. Crown of head towards the floor. Drape the body over the thighs. Maybe just move the head from side to side. Rock the weight in the feet. Just kind of move around. And then press down through the balls of the feet and lengthen the tailbone towards the heels. We're going to do a super slow spinal roll up. So head will be the very last thing to come up. It's like a bowling ball, so heavy. Round through your low back, mid back, upper back. You have so much time. Head is the last thing to come up. Chin parallel to the floor. Good, and then feel the tailbone lengthening down. Turn the palms to the left and right of the room. Inhale, just take the arms up, so breathe them up. Time it with your in-breath, reach up. Get taller as you press the air away. Listen carefully, inhale, reach up. This time, hands come to prayer. Press the hands at prayer. And then exhale, draw that prayer through center line, but stop at the midpoint. So you're going to fuse your forearms together if you can feel that. Good. Inhale, open the arms up. So imagine you're pressing two heavy doors back. Good. And then exhale, take the right elbow underneath the left. So you're in an eagle wrap position. Glide the shoulders down and back. And from here, you're just going to do kind of like cat-cow standing with eagle arms. So I just want you to inhale, lift the elbows up. And then exhale, you're still standing, but you're just going to kind of round into yourself. Take the elbows towards the navel, and it's okay to sort of round forward. And just make this your own, so you don't have to do what I say. You can move on your own timing. But the idea is the inhale, you're lifting. And the exhale, you're just gently rounding. Good. Again, breathing in. Breathing out to round. Stay rounded for me here. And I just want you to kind of tick-tock to the left and right. So hopefully this should kind of open up maybe either side of the low back. Keep your eagle arms strong. Good. Just kind of see what that feels like. And then we're going to inhale to come to stand. And you might need to watch me for this one. You're going to inhale. Just let the arms slither apart and find the arms in that same wrist crossed, hands pressing at prayer position. You guys are amazing. You're all there. And then we'll just exhale, press the air away, but this time fold forward. Perfect. Inhale, half lift, get long. Exhale, step the left foot back in space, left knee to the mat. For our low lunge today, I want you to use the block, and instead of coming up, we're just going to be here with both hands on the block and let the hips get heavy. An option, I want you to flip your wrists out so your wrists are forward and your fingertips point back. You can get a little wrist stretch here. More importantly, you can glide the shoulders down and back in a new way and send the heart forward. Good. Three breaths here. Breathe into the whole body. Breathing in. Breathing out. Glide the shoulders down the back. Send the heart forward. Maybe a little nice stretch for the wrists. Two more breaths. You can close the eyes if you like. Good. Last one. 
Nice. And then as you're ready, just set the block aside. Take the left hand to the ground. Curl your left toes under. And we're just going to take this into an easy twist. You're just going to extend the back leg. Reach the right hand towards the sky. You can come up onto those left fingertips. And then get that back left leg really straight for me. Spiral heart to ceiling. That's it. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Twist more towards the ceiling. Again, breathing in. And breathing out to twist. Big inhale. Exhale. Set the hand down on either side of the foot. Step back to your plank pose. Breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor with control. Or you can take knees, chest, chin. Take the hands to the wood on either side of the mat. Inhale, press yourself up. Cobra, spin the elbows forward. Draw your shoulders down and back. And then exhale, just ripple the spine to come down. You can do that two more times. Or you can do any variation of a back bend you like. So inhale, pressing yourself up. Spin the elbows forward, collarbones back, heart lifts. Exhale, cinch the waist in and ripple vertebra by vertebra down to the floor. One more, inhale. Exhale, maybe staying lifted this time, holding the cobra, big breath in. And just as you're ready, taking it down, using your abs for a long, slow, controlled descent. And then you can take the hands underneath the shoulders. Maybe you want to revisit child's pose for just two breaths. Or you can go straight to downward facing dog and hold your dog. So we'll all meet there. You can move the hips from side to side. Perfect. And your down dog, feel the heels root back, knuckles press in, spin the biceps to the left and right of the room. Huge breath in. Good. Lift the left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hips. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. We're going to come up into a high lunge. So this time you can circle the arms down, around, and up. Back knee is lifted. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, take the upper body back in space. Good, huge breath in. Exhale, press through that back, heel more. Last breath. Good, breathe in. Next exhale, I want you to reach forward. Find that line of energy, heel to crown of head, and then hands frame the foot. Listen carefully, bend into the ear. Just gonna step to the top of the mat. Feet hip width apart. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, half lift, get long. Exhale, melt. Breathe in. Glide the shoulder blades down the back and then exhale, melt the knees, get really soft, super deep bend in the knees. Second time for our full spinal roll up. So chin into chest, back of neck is long. It initiates with the tailbone lengthening towards your heels and there's no rush. So feel through every vertebra as you come on up until slowly the chin is parallel to the floor. Maybe spread the toes apart. Really firm into your stance, and then as you're ready, spin the palms out, breathe in, come on up. Mm, exhale, press the air away. Inhale, reach up. This time, palms fuse above the head. Exhale, it's like you're dragging something down. The elbows are gonna come to touch. Breathe in, take it wide, press back. Exhale, left elbow underneath the right this time. Good. And here you go. Firm the shoulder blades down the back. And then your movement. Inhale, maybe lifting the shoulder blades. Exhale, rounding elbows into navel. Inhale, lifting the elbows, rooting the shoulder blades down best you can. Exhale, just melting into yourself. So you're just giving yourself a little massage. Last one, inhale up. This time exhale when you're down, stay there. Give yourself a little bit of side to side motion, just seeing what that brings up in the low back or if there's some kinks you can work out in the shoulders. 
Just give yourself a few breaths to explore. And then on your next big in-breath, we'll take the palms in that fused position. So you just kind of let the arms unravel. It just sort of happens naturally. You'll be crossed at the wrist, palms press, breathe in. And exhale, press there away, but this time you get to also fold forward. Perfect. Inhale, half lift, get long. Exhale, step the right foot back in space, right knee to the mat, and kind of a variation on our typical lunge. We take the block, and if you don't have a block, you can just have the hands on the floor. I'm going to invite you to flip the wrists around. So you don't need to do that, but it's really nice if you're texting and typing a lot. Glide the shoulders powerfully down the back, though. That's it. That's it. Good. And then let the hips be heavy and just hear the breath here. Inhaling. Exhale all the way. Maybe closing the eyes if you can. Two more. Big breath in. Exhale, just let gravity win. Last one, breathe in. Exhale all the way. Good. As you're ready, you can get rid of the block. Just set it aside. Set the right hand down. Curl the right toes so your back right leg is long. And then lift the left hand to the sky. Big twist. Glide the shoulder blades down the back. Keep the hips low. And keep pressing through that back right heel like crazy. Inhale, get long. Exhale, twist deeper. Good. Inhale, think length. Heel to crown of head. Exhale, twist more. Last breath. Exhale, left hand frames the foot. Step it back. This time your choice. You can go all the way to the floor and take any cobra variation. Or you can take up dog where the elbows closely hug the body. And you come on up. You can always press straight back to dog or child's pose. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. And breathe in, take the right leg high to the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Huge breath in. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands for your high lunge. Circle the arms down, around, and up. So making sure that front knee is directly over the ankle, widening the stance if needed. And then inhale, get taller. Exhale, just leaning back, biceps back. Strong bend in the front knee, inhale. Exhale, pull the navel up and in off the front thigh bone. Last breath. Mm, breathe in. As you exhale, find length. So find this heel to crown of head moment. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, get long, half lift. Exhale, mount. A little different this time. Inhale, just circle the arms down, around, and up. Come to stand. Press down through the feet. Look up. Exhale, press the air away. Get taller. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up. Hands fuse at prayer this time. Same thing. Exhale, drag that prayer down center line. Forearms touch. Elbows touch. Inhale, resist something as you open the arms back. Exhale once again, right elbow under left for your eagle wrap. Glide the shoulders down and back. Energetically move the elbows forward. And for this variation, I'm going to invite you to take circle. So inhale, you can lift up. But then exhale, you can kind of take it into a full little spiral. So it's like your elbows wanted to draw circles in front of you. And you can just see what that feels like. So just really close your eyes, go inward, trust the body. Trust that the body knows how to unwind. It wants to open these spaces. It wants to let go. And then at a natural point, you'll probably want to reverse the circles, take it the other way. See if you can find some interesting spaces in the side body. And then gently coming to a stopping point at center, I want you to take your right foot to the center of the mat, Bend the knees deeply, toes touch heels apart, chair pose. Good. And then level one, if you just want to stay here, that's fine. Otherwise, level two, three, you can take the left foot over. Maybe you just put it on the floor for today to test your balance. Or if you want to double wrap the um, foot, 
around the ankle, you can do that in sink low. So lots of places you can be. We're here for four deep breaths. Get as low as you can. Low, low, low. Elbows energetically lifted. Send your breath into the warmest part of the situation. Exhale all the way. Last two. Last one. Visualize warrior three. So you're going to take the leg behind you. So that left leg comes behind you. Keep your eagle wrap for me. Just play with it. Drop the left hip way more than you think you need to. Send the elbows forward. Just one breath. Heel to crown of head. Get long, long, long. Exhale. Step into your high lunge. You still have your eagle wrap. And now let that wrap evolve into the hands at prayer with the wrist crossed. Yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Drag the shoulders down and back. Breathe in. Energy between the palms. As you breathe out, you're going to press open to warrior two. You're right there. Inhale. Reach forward to go back. Reverse. Good. Exhale. Side angle pose. Elbow to knee or um, hand to the block is perfectly good too because we have the block. So just see where you want to be. Awesome. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Send the towards the door where you came in. This looks so good. I want to challenge you to bend this more. Yes. Awesome. And now you're going to take it back into reverse trigonasana. So you're going to straighten both legs. Reach the right arm back a lot. Good. And then exhale, triangle pose. Reach that right arm forward. Shift the hips back. Hands come to the block or the floor. Right hand comes to the block or the floor. Left arm reaches towards the ceiling. Glide the shoulder blades down and back. Good. And then just for today's emphasis, I'm going to invite you to take the left hand behind you and hold the inside of the right thigh. So you come into a bound. You're all there. Perfect. And then we played with this last week, but the idea of taking this into like a breathing um, triangle. So as you breathe in, I want you to let your torso drift forward. And then as you breathe out, let the torso drift back. It's kind of like you were being blown by the wind, like a leaf blown by the wind. So you just play with that. Inhale, let the torso come forward a little bit. And exhale, take it back a little bit. Yeah, and make it fluid. So you kind of can just be like, hmm. And if you want to be still, you can also just be still. Otherwise, you can just kind of see if you can move the upper body with the breath in a way that's interesting for you. Good. Last breath. Nice. Inhale, re-bend the knee, come into your reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Listen carefully, pop that left heel up. Reach the right hand to the sky. We've been here before, easy twist. Glide the shoulders down and back. Big breath in. Exhale, twist more. Huge breath in. Exhale, twist to your deepest point. Okay, listen carefully. Exhale, right hand to the floor. I want you to heel toe your foot to the center of the mat if it's not already. We're coming into crazy pigeon. Crazy pigeon, you just bend the knee out. The um, middle of the foot is on the center of the mat, and you can be right here, feeling into the hip stretch. Or level two, three, you can turn the palms like we did in the previous pose and also get a wrist stretch here. So, um, Hug the feet towards one another. So the front foot is hugging towards the heel, like heels are hugging towards one another. So you're not collapsed down here. Everything's hugging in, super heating, maybe rock from side to side. Wrist stretch is optional. If you have the wrist flipped, even if you don't, glide those shoulders down and back. Last two breaths. Mm, final breath. Good, and then gently reflipping the palms if you have them flipped, stepping the foot back to your downward dog, and now your choice to flow through a vinyasa or to skip it. You can always take child's pose and personalize your practice as needed. Good. Awesome, just find your breathing. Looks really good. There's no rush. Spread your fingers apart for me. Yes. And then think. 
uh, micro bend your elbows a little bit. Yeah, feel that. Awesome. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can slowly stroll to the top of the mat. There's no rush. So we're in a standing forward fold together. Mm, inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt. Inhale, circling the arms down, around, and up this time. Really press down through the soles of the feet. Look up. And then exhale, get taller as you press the airway, extend through the fingertips, biceps extended. Good. Lengthen the tailbone down. Notice if you're arching on the low back. Inhale, reach up. This time, hands touch at prayer. Drag that prayer down through the center line. Forearms touch, elbows touch. Your in-breath takes it apart. So you press the elbows apart. Your out-breath, this time you thread left elbow underneath the right. Find your eagle wrap. Glide the shoulders down the back. Lift the elbows. And this time it circles. So you kind of can tick-tock to one side, feel that opening in the side body, and then take that down and around. Elbows come in towards the navel, and you're just playing that. You're just seeing what feels good, just trusting your instincts. A few more on your own. And you're pulling the belly up and in this whole time, so you have a really strong center from which to spiral, if that makes sense. And then naturally, as it feels right, you'll just reverse the direction of the circles and keep the shoulder blades gliding down. Keep the elbows pressing towards one another so you have that internal resistance here. It's going to give you the biggest shoulder stretch. And then slowly, we'll all arrive at center. No rush. Take the left foot to the center of the mat. Toes touch, heels apart. Sink low into your chair. So you can always just stay here. Curl the tailbone forward like a little hook so there's no arch in the low back. If you're moving on, the right foot comes over, right leg over the left. You can always just keep the big toe on the ground and stop here. Only if you want to keep going, you'll wrap the leg, wrap the foot around the ankle. Sit low. Sit really low for me, three breaths. Huge inhales in and out through the nose heating the whole body. Last two. You got it. Last one. Warrior three. You know we're meeting in the lunge. You can always go straight there. Otherwise, the right foot's kicking back. Keep the eagle wrap. And then drop the right hip way more than you think you need to. Send the elbows forward. And then heel to crown of head. Get long, long, long just for two more breaths. Kick through the back foot. It's like you're kicking something away. Last breath. Step back into your lunge. Keep the eagle wrap. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then let this unravel just like we did before. Yes. Press the palms together. You're crossing at the wrist. Huge breath in. And then exhale. Open into your warrior two. Press. Reach forward to go back. Reverse. Yes. Exhale, carries you down, side angle, so be on your own breath, you don't have to be with my words, and then hand to the inside of the foot, elbow to the knee, or hand to a block. Awesome. Keep that knee tracking towards the pinky toe best you can. Good. See if you can relax that right shoulder blade down and back. Press your hips towards the curtains, but the upper body is opening towards the windows. Two more breaths. The legs super strong. Upper body really soft. Good. And then inhale, take it back. Reverse Trigonasana. Straighten the front leg. And then exhale, triangle pose. Shift, bump the hips back. And then reach, reach, reach through that left hand for the shin or the block, and reach the right hand to the sky. Press down through the ball of the foot and the heel of the foot, but suck up through the arches of your feet so the legs engage. Good, and then take that top right hand behind you, see if you can clasp hold of the inner thigh or just the shirt. 
Good. And if you liked it on the other side, you can kind of play with gently inhaling, maybe just letting the torso come forward. Exhaling, letting the torso open back. Mm, only if it feels good. Inhaling, just rocking forward. It's like you're inviting a little rounding as you rock forward and a little bit extra opening as you go back. Just keeping the spine nice and juicy, just making it a little more fluid than like our typical triangle pose. Maybe the chin bows in a little bit. Awesome, last breath, keep pulling up through the legs. Good. And then bend into the front knee, take it back, reverse warrior. Mm, cartwheel the arms down. And this is where you're gonna kick the back heel up for your easy twist. So left hand high to the sky. Draw the shoulder blades down and back. Press the right heel back, breathe in. Exhale, twist more. Inhale, get long. Exhale, pull the abs up and in, last breath. Good, exhale, hands frame the foot. Make sure the foot is directly under the face if it's not already, so maybe you take it a little bit more towards the center of the mat, and then you just fall to the pinky toe side of the foot for your crazy pigeon. So if this is a lot, you can just stay here. Otherwise, I'd like you to flip the wrists to see what that feels like. Awesome, and when you flip the wrists, you're gonna notice this ability to really draw the shoulders down and back, and send the heart forward in a new way. Wherever you are, you can rock side to side. And then don't let gravity win here. Pull your front heel and your back toes towards one another so everything's suctioning up into your pelvis, into the midpoint in your pelvis. So we're not down here, right? We're, whew, the hips are almost a little higher than you think they need to be. Good, and then flip the palms back around. Step it back, down dog. Vinyasa or skip it. Good. From your down dog, make your way into a child's pose, just melting back down to where we began. So just finding a comfortable child's pose with or without the block, just really rest the forehead into the mat. Breathe into your low back. Good. And then gently press yourself up. No rush, just sit the heels over to the left. Extend your legs in front of you. We're gonna take a forward fold and then we're gonna um, open the shoulders once more on the block. So you can start with bent knees. You can sit up on something. If you know your hamstrings are tight, maybe you wanna sit up on a block or a bolster. Wherever you are, you're gonna inhale, reach the arms up, get long first, and then exhale, fold forward. Right, so legs can be straight or legs can be bent. And then glide the shoulders down and back so they're very far from your ears. Flex equally through the pinky toe and big toe side of the foot. So notice if one is favoring, that's good. And press the thigh bones into the ground so much so that the heels almost graze off the mat. Yes, do you feel the difference? Yeah. There you go. Sorry if you're ticklish. <laughs> Good, and then really melt the shoulders down and back. Do everything you can to micro bend the elbows and release that, that tension spot. Perfect. So as you inhale, you're getting longer through the spine. As you exhale, you're pulling your abs back and that's what's taking you into the forward fold. Perfect, gently press yourself up. One vertebra at a time, no rush. Okay, keep your gaze inward, your attention inward. I'm gonna show you a setup with the blocks. So I want you to just take your hand, it was so beautiful because you were actually doing this earlier. Take your hand right to where you'd want someone to massage you, if that tricep area, or sorry, that um, trapezius area, right? Yeah, right here. Okay, so keeping that in mind, have block number two right here so you can hold it and have it close by. And this first block is gonna be here. And we're gonna to wanna to lie on the block in such a way that the pointy corners of the block are gonna hit that area we just touched. 
So this is different from maybe like a restorative version you've done in the past. This is different. So I want you to lie down on the block. And then the goal is to get those top two corners of the block pressing into the meaty part of that trapezius muscle. And you need to lift your seat really high and then take your arms in a cactus shape. Once you're there, you have the option, if you look at me, to slip the other block underneath you here for support. And then we're going to make some motions with the arms. And it's going to be kind of like someone's thumbs were pressure pointing in to that space in your traps. And I'll come around and help. What you need to do in order to feel it, it's OK to rest on the high block. But I also want you to take your seat up in the air and kind of move your seat around, like dancey it around, so you can press your shoulders into the corner of the block. So we're a small class, so if you're not feeling it, just call me over. But you've got to get your seat high up into the air, shimmy, shimmy the seat to wiggle the shoulders into the block. If you need help, call me over. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So is it pressuring here for you? On the top. On the yeah. 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 So take the elbows wide now for me, guys. If you if just try it. If you're happy, you don't have to, but take the elbows wide in like a goalpost shape. Good. And then maybe make some circles with the elbows, right? To kind of like massage into that point, right? Yeah, you could take the arms in big swimming motions, right? Or you could micro bend the elbows and kind of take one high and then the other high, right? So this is like your personal exploration of it. Yeah, if you want to just lie down, you can too. Perfect. Just keep your breathing deep. And then as you're ready, you'll gently remove the block. There's no rush. You can gently take that high block if you're using it to support you. Lift the hips up again when you do that, though, and press back. See if you can find anything interesting and new. And then you'll just take both blocks out. Mm, coming to lie down on your back. There's no rush at all. Good. And then we'll just take the soles of the feet to touch, but in the air. And just see if you can hold on to the pinky toe sides of your feet. Perfect. Press the soles of the feet together. And then just bend your elbows. So you're, it's like Baddha Konasana, but you're lying down. And just pull the heels in towards the face as you let the elbows go wide, the knees go wide, just to open up and restore the low back. Yeah, perfect. Think of the tailbone getting longer. Take a full breath in. Exhale all the way. Melt the shoulders down the back. Notice if they've started tensing because you're grabbing the feet. Just draw them towards the floor. Big breath in. Exhale all the way. Last huge breath in. Open the mouth. Exhale. Breathing in, just bring the knees into the chest now, giving yourself a final squeeze, pulling the knees down into the body. And then just lengthening one leg and then the other, coming into your Shavasana, making any adjustments you need, maybe pressing your elbows into the floor and gliding your shoulders more underneath you and then letting the arms go long again. And just settle in here, huge breath into the body. Exhaling completely. Last huge breath together. Exhale all the way. And rest.
And slowly just begin to wiggle the toes, maybe take the ankles in some circles, run the thumbs over the pads of the fingers. And by all means, if you don't need to be anywhere, you're welcome to stay in Shavasana and rest for longer. Otherwise, now gently pull one knee into the chest and then the other, just giving yourself a squeeze. Wrap the forearms around the knees and just pull down. Then you can roll to your right side, so use the right form as a pillow, left hand to the mat. And then taking your time, you can just gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat, just keeping the eyes closed. Good. Once you're there, just take the backs of the hands to the knees. See if you can get the arms completely straight for today and bring the thumb and the middle finger to touch, so a little different than we normally do. And then draw the shoulders down the back from here. So feel the arms really straight, elbows really straight, but shoulders drawn down. Lean the upper body back. Feel the crown of the head line up directly above your two sits bones and then take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way. Deep breath in. Exhale, get taller. Good. Huge breath. As you exhale, let the shoulder blades glide down the back. Breathe in. As you exhale, just feel the heart lift. Get a little bit taller still. We'll just be here for just 30 seconds of silence. As you're ready, gather your hands to prayer at heart center. Fuse the palms in towards one another, so press the palms together. As you breathe in, you can just take your thumbs to your third eye, space between the eyebrows, press in. And as you exhale, just fold forward, and if you'd like, you can say namaste. Namaste. If you joined us from home, thank you so much for practicing with me. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment down below, let me know how you're feeling, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to go deeper in your practice, join my community, Uplifted. There's details on how to do that right here and below this video. So much love from my heart to yours. Namaste.